I was cleaning out a drawer and I had an old uh, router that I'm sure was vintage and it's no longer up to today's standards, so I thought I'd throw it away. But I thought I'd uh, rip it apart and see uh, if there's any components that I could steal off of it. So this is the uh, this is the the, uh, the board that was inside. It was a Netgear, it has some Broadcom parts on it. It does all the magic, and uh, looks like there's a big uh, memory chip here, some kind of buffer chip. I suppose all the RF circuitry is in here. Maybe I'll open that up later. But uh, I looked around. I said, eh, I don't really want to save anything. Then I noticed there's kind of some cute little LEDs in here can't really get too close to them, but they're uh, uh, bicolor LEDs. There's two LEDs in one package, and they're surface mount. So um, I thought I'd take a look at those under the microscope. Um, I used to work in LED land, so kind of interested in stuff like that. So we'll see what's, uh, what's inside there and figure out what, uh, what different colors they are. So uh, here's, the, uh, here's the part. Looks like there's a resistor that's shared among the two uh, the two LEDs and um, they do seem like they're different colors and, the, and, and I know that because the way they're constructed so let me see if I can zoom in a little farther just a second there we go um, you can see the package here Let's see if I can find something to point with maybe this will work um, oops whoa I've zoomed in a lot here, so careful. All right, so uh, there's an LED here and an LED here, and then there's a castellated packaging. There's like an alumina substrate, and then the two parts are on gold traces, and then there's that resistor over there on the side. Let me see if I can... There we go. I can get the LEDs in focus, so you can see the top tops of those LEDs look a bit different. They're a different color and they have a different metal pattern on top. So they're definitely going to be uh, different colors. So I have uh, about 10 milliamps constant current set on some probes here. So let me see if I can, if I can light these up. Hard to do under the microscope. There we go. Let me turn the light off on the microscope and try to try to get these guys to light. There's a green one and a yellow one. All right, so one's green and one's yellow. Um, and we're getting about 1.8 volts forward current on the green one and about 1.9 forward volts on the yellow one. Interesting. So, turn this back on. So the reason, um, the reason they're different is they are made from different materials. Um, like I've said before that the red ones and yellow ones and Sometimes green ones are sort of made out of um, gallium phosphide or gallium aluminum arsenic, uh, something like that. Um, nasty, nasty things. When we built these things, we had a gas tank that pumped gas down to the crystal growers where they made these things. And the phosphorus, you needed phosphine gas and you needed... Uh, arsine gas for the arsenide stuff. So really, really nasty chemicals to build LEDs. You really don't want to work on those buildings. Uh, I later had cancer and I'm wondering if I didn't get it from uh, <laughs> from working there, but uh, who knows. You get it for weird reasons. All right. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's really hard to see at this magnification, but uh, some of the LEDs have just a dot on top, and some of the LEDs kind of have a cross on top. That cross on top is metallization to spread the current out. Um, but the way these parts are put down, there's a substrate. Like I said, this is probably alumina with gold on top. Um, and they are glued down. There's an, a, a conductive epoxy, so each chip 
is glued down to the substrate. So the electrical contact is done through that glue. And a lot of times it's um, kind of an epoxy glue with silver particulates in it. And then the top contact is done by what's called wire bonding. There's a very thin, usually about one mil, one thousandth of an inch, um, gold wire. And there's a machine that kind of looks like a sewing machine. And you can stick, uh, the way that it works is uh, there is uh, the wire. And then there's a uh, little gold ball that gets formed on the end of the wire. And that gold ball can be pushed down and by pressure or heat or both and sometimes a scrubbing motion you can get that ball to stick to something else. So there's a gold contact on top of the LED and this gold ball smashes into it and you get this gold gold contact that just kind of sticks there. Sometimes it's aluminum a wire depending on what type of process you have. Almost all LEDs are gold wires. So you stitch one, it's called stitching, you stitch one gold bond on top of the LED and then you reach over and you plunk it down on one of the contacts on the substrate. So that's how the top contact is made. Uh, the top contact is always positive and the bottom contact is always negative. So if you're not sure how an LED is wired, if you put it under a microscope you can see um, wherever there's the bond, the, the wire, that's the positive side. So some LEDs, uh, a lot of blue LEDs, sometimes don't have a bottom contact. Um, they only have two surface contacts. So there'll be actually two wire bonds that, that are necessary, one for the negative and one for the positive. Of course, that's a lot more difficult to figure out which is plus and which is minus. But let's see if there's any other interesting things here. Oops, oh, wrong out of room. Okay, uh, here's another LED. This is a single one, so there's a bunch of dual ones. There's uh, six dual ones, and then there's this one all by itself. So let's, uh, it's kind of a yellow color of epoxy that's, uh, ah, see now that has two bond wires on it. Well, that might be a blue one. Let's check that one out. See if I can probe it and make it glow. I think it might go this way. Uh, probably the other way. There we go. Yes, indeed, it's blue. So like I said, um, if you see two bond wires, it's usually blue, gallium nitride. And... Um, a lot of times we'll have two top contacts. We turn off the uh, microscope. There we go. Blue. Now I'm not quite sure why they used a yellow encapsulant, but uh, they did. <laughs>